Thanks for checking out this trailer review video. So let's go ahead, let's geek out, let's nerd out, let's talk about the trailer for It Chapter 2. Um, obviously, I'm not going to have spoilers for this because it's about the trailer. So go stop this, go watch the trailer, now come back and listen to what I have to say. So anyway, um, I saw, obviously, Chapter 1 of It. Anyone who's like an actual horror fan, how could you not have seen it at this point? Uh, that film overachieved like crazy. Uh, I had expectations for it to be decent. It was awesome. So I've really been looking forward to this second one. So seeing this trailer, I've kind of been anticipating the trailer coming out. And um, I will say, first of all, the people who they got to play the grown-up versions of the kids look good from what I see. Obviously, we don't you don't get to see them for long periods of time except Beverly's character in the trailer. So... Um, you know, you'll have to get a little bit of a closer look, a longer look when you actually see maybe another version of a trailer or the actual movie itself. Uh, but it looks pretty good. Uh, it, it looks from the trailer that there's going to be that kind of childhood camaraderie coming back as they're older, as is evidenced by see, showing them like getting back together in it and having shots at a bar. And they're all back there to take on Pennywise once again. And that's the on the note of Pennywise, that's the best thing about the trailer is this return to Pennywise because it's such an iconic character. Before the It chapter one, uh, it was an iconic character. And it, um, from the from It chapter one, even more iconic because I believe, you know, Tim Curry did an awesome job uh, with what he had because he was creating the character himself uh, from the TV version of It from way back. Um, I think P Bill Skarsgård took it to that next level, and he did have the benefit of being able to look to Tim Curry's Pennywise portrayal and say, okay, I can take some stuff from this, and then I can improve on it or make tweaks depending on what direction the director wants to go or me or whatever. And he did that, and it's, it's a little zany, totally creepy, scary. It's just, it's everything it, it should be. And it embodies a Stephen King horrific story. So he's great. And obviously seeing him at the very end of the trailer is just kind of like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. But even before that, let, let's talk about the, the entire structure of the trailer. I think the trailer itself is awesome. It's really well put together. There are many times where a trailer will just like give you a bunch of like quick cuts. And you're just like, okay, I can't really tell what it's really going to be like. I don't really get much of a feel for it. Which sometimes that's fine because you don't want too much to be given away but with this people already know the story for the most part because it's a remake of something that's been around for a long time so you're not spoiling anything by having longer segments which they have in this trailer which i think are is awesome for this trailer it gives you a segment of the film a really good segment of the film that is just amazing at just keeping tension like i can't tell you the last time i watched a movie trailer and felt tension like that like it was tense the whole time and you know it's going to be like the last movie. It's going to it's going to have scares. It's going to have that tension with it, much like the first one did. And it's it, I don't know. It just looks really good. So the the whole scene of her like going back to Beverly going back to her home, and this this old woman there, and the slow reveal of like mm, things don't really feel right. Things are a little weird. And then you kind of get the inkling. I think first for me, I got the inkling when she was talking about um, you know when uh. P people dying and then there's like that really awkward like long pause and you're just like oh yeah there's something not right and then she does the little unbutton and shows the scar and you're just like pennywise man get out of there <laughs> so and then she's looking at like the carnival pictures on the wall uh and that's another thing that really excites me about this trailer is maybe they're gonna go into backstory on Pennywise which honestly I can't remember in the TV movie version did they go into backstory on Pennywise I can't remember it's been so long since I've seen that I actually own it on VHS to tell you a little bit about <laughs> how long ago it was since I watched it but um yeah it looks like they're gonna go into backstory which could be a good thing could be a bad thing depending on how it's executed but it gets me excited because I want to know it I want to get there and, um, yeah, just the trailer in general gets me excited because it feels like a lot of the same stuff from the first movie. And it's this whole, like, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. They're not doing anything different. It's just more the same story told the same way in the same style. 
with a lot of the same the same acting for Pennywise, but hopefully the same caliber acting, maybe a little bit better for the grown ups. And I'm excited. Like it it gets me psyched. I don't know about anyone else out there, but please comment down here. Let's nerd out about it. Or even tell me, like, do you, are you not gonna nerd out about this? Do you feel like eh, it didn't look that good? I expected more from it. Or did it exceed your expectations? Are you like, oh man, I didn't expect this trailer to look that good and it killed it? Or are you in the middle? Are you just like, yeah, I gotta wait and see. We'll see. Um, I have no reason to believe that this will underperform for my expectations. Although I guess the, the only thing that could be a problem is if my expectations aren't exactly, or if the movie doesn't meet, meet exactly what I expect based off the first movie, then I guess maybe I could be a little bit disappointed. So I guess I got to temper that a little bit. But, um, oh, I also want to say, uh, just so people know, th it was super awesome. My experience with watching uh, the movie when it came out in the theaters, the first It, I saw it in a drive-in at Benji's Drive-In. In, um, I think it's technically in Middle River, uh, Maryland. <sighs> Man, drive-ins are so cool. If you can find one anywhere, it's great. And especially see a horror movie. It's just so cool. And they did a really cool thing there where they had uh, the attendants, you know, the people who kind of walk around their kind of security, make sure people aren't, like, running their cars, turning on lights, stuff like that. Uh, a bunch of them were dressed up in, like, the yellow rain slicks with um, red balloons they were carrying. So it was really cool. They kind of, like, get in on it. Um, so yeah, I would like to see the second portion there as well. Uh, but anyway, everyone, let's talk about this. Put your comments down there. What do you think? What are your hopes or even fears with this? And then, uh, yeah, go ahead and hit the subscribe. Help me out because that type of stuff does take you literally a second. It can mean a lot for me. Also hit the notification bell so you know whenever a comment is coming or a comment <laughs> whenever a, um, videos coming out. I'm sorry. I just got done with work, but thank you so much for checking this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.